क्वेश्चन नंबर 156 अ 54 ईयर ओल्ड मेल सफरिंग फ्रॉम रुमैटिक फीवर हैड हिज मिट्रल वाल्व डैमेज्ड ड्यू टू द डिजीज द इमीडिएट इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस पैथोलॉजी विल बी एंड द ऑप्शंस गिवन आर ब्लड फ्लोइंग बैक इनटू द राइट एट्रियम रिड्यूस्ड फ्लो ऑफ ब्लड इनटू आयोर्टा pulmonary trunk will be damaged pacemaker will stop working due to the damage and the correct answer to this question is option number 2 reduced flow of blood into aorta as you can see here in this diagrammatic representation of human heart this is mitral valve or bicuspid valve present between the left atrium and left ventricle left atrium and left ventricle so any possible damage to these mitral valve will not lead to the backflow of blood into right atrium this is an incorrect option because bicuspid valves or mitral valves are present between left atrium and left ventricle and not between right atrium and right ventricle it is tricuspid valves which are here which are present between right atrium and right ventricle so if due to any injury bicuspid valves of a human heart become partially non functional or completely non functional the flow of blood into aorta is reduced because back flow of blood takes place into the left atrium so there would be back flow of blood from left ventricle to left atrium the next option is pulmonary trunk will be damaged and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because damage to mitral valve will not affect the pulmonary trunk the next option is pacemaker will stop working due to the damage and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because damage to mitral valve will not affect the pacemaker of heart pacemaker of heart also known as sa node So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the next question. Question number one fifty seven. Choose the incorrect statement regarding blood pressure. And the very first statement given is diastolic pressure is always greater than systolic pressure. And as it is an incorrect statement, this is a correct answer to our question. As you can see here, systolic pressure is always greater than diastolic. pressure so this is an incorrect statement the next statement says blood pressure is greater in aorta than the inferior vena cava as you can see here in aorta blood pressure is higher in comparison to vena cava so this is a correct statement and cannot be a correct answer to our question the next statement is normal blood pressure is registered as systolic is to diastolic mmhg and as it is also a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question whereas the last statement says 200 is to 100 mmhg which means systolic is to diastolic pressure is 200 is to 100 mmhg pressure can cause damage to the vital organs and as it is also a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question because hypertension or repeated high blood pressure is a condition in which pressure of blood is raised in arteries and high blood pressure of about 200 to 100 mmhg may harm various organs of the body such as kidneys and brain to a greater extent so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 let's move on to the next question question number 158 says the heart rate and cardiac output of an individual can be reduced by and the options are activation of parasympathetic nervous system activation of sympathetic nervous system release of adrenaline into the blood stream and the last option is inhibition of acetylcholine stimulation by parasympathetic nervous system eventually leads to release of acetylcholine and this release of acetylcholine leads to decrease in decrease in heart rate and cardiac output 
by slowing the rate of spontaneous depolarization in autonomic fibers. So, the very first option, activation of parasympathetic nervous system is a correct answer to our question because activation of parasympathetic nervous system leads to decrease in heart rate and cardiac output of an individual. Whereas, the rest of the options, that is activation of sympathetic nervous system, which will lead to the release of adrenaline into the bloodstream cannot be the correct answer because this is under sympathetic nervous system and this will lead to increase in heart rate and cardiac output. And cardiac output. And the last option, inhibition of acetylcholine cannot be a correct answer because it is because of the release of acetylcholine, heart rate and cardiac output can be reduced. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 159, blood pressure in mammalian aorta is maximum during and the options given are atrial systole, joint diastole, ventricular systole and ventricular diastole. Now, blood pressure in mammalian aorta is maximum when blood leaves the heart, when blood leaves the heart. And that would be possible when heart contracts and contraction causes blood pressure to rise to its highest point and that will occur when there is ventricular systole. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3, ventricular systole. Atrial systole is an incorrect option because during atrial systole, blood will flow from atria to ventricles. Whereas during ventricular systole, blood leaves from ventricles into the aorta and there would be maximum pressure in mammalian aorta. Now, the next options are joint diastole and ventricular diastole and these are the incorrect options because the relaxation brings blood pressure in aorta to minimum to the lowest point. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Now, let's discuss our next question. Question number 160. Which of the following fluids is incapable of clotting? And the options given are lymph, plasma, blood and the last option is serum. The blood consists of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma with clotting factor. So, it can clot. So, option number 3 cannot be a correct answer. Lymph consists of WBCs and plasma with clotting factor. So, it can also clot. So, option number 1 cannot be a correct answer. The next option is plasma and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because plasma can also clot as it has clotting factor. Whereas, the last option is serum and this is a correct answer to our question because serum is plasma without clotting factor. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Now, let's move on to the next question. 